Hello! Thank you for watching the first of our Passwords Fast instructional videos. By the end of this video, you will know how to set up the master password for your new Passwords Fast device, as well as how to add password entries. Additionally, you will know how to type in regular, uppercase, and special characters, and how to delete characters. Now let's get started by setting up the master device password. This is the only password you need to remember. I suggest making your device password something easy to remember, something relevant to you. Since this device is not connected to the internet, you don't have to make the device password hard. First, locate the on-off key of your passwords fast, which you can find in the upper left corner. Press and hold the on-off key for about a second until you see the screen turn on with Create Password on it and a blinking cursor on the line below. Now that the device is on, you can enter the master device password. For this video, I will demonstrate by typing in an example master password tester. Passwords Fast only accepts one key press at a time so I press each character in turn by itself. To type an uppercase character, press the Shift key on the left side of your passwords fast, then let go. An uppercase icon is now in the upper right corner of the screen. The next character I press will be capitalized. The arrow icon is now gone. You must press the Shift key before each letter you want to capitalize, making sure to press them one at a time. Notice as I'm entering in characters, the blinking cursor moves, indicating where the next letter I press will appear. After you finish typing in your master password, find the Enter key, which is in the lower right corner. Press the Enter key, which tells the device you finished typing. Your Passwords Fast is now on the Confirm Password screen. Retype your master password into the device. This step helps make sure you've entered your master password in correctly. Notice that I've made a mistake. I need to delete the W and replace it with an E. Delete characters by using the blue function key in the lower left corner. When the function key is pressed, a small FN symbol appears in the upper right on the screen. This symbol indicates that the next time a key is pressed, the smaller blue character on the key is typed instead of the larger white character. To demonstrate, I'll press the O key which also has the number 9 in blue. The FN symbol always disappears after the second key is pressed. Now I'll use the blue function key and the left arrow key to delete the 9. First, I press the function key, letting go, then I press the left arrow key, which now acts as a backspace key. I do not press the keys at the same time. You can move the blinking cursor by pressing the left and right arrow keys. I'll press the left arrow key to move the cursor to where I made the mistake. I delete the W, first pressing the FN key, letting go, then pressing the left arrow key. I press them one at a time, otherwise it won't work. I can now type in the missing E, which appears where my blinking cursor is. Now that I've correctly retyped my master password, I can press Enter to continue. If I decide that I don't like the master password I just created, I can press the Escape key, which always brings me back to the last screen I was on. However, I like my new master password, so I'll continue on by pressing Enter. I'm now on the Security Phrase screen, where I need to type in a one-time sequence of any characters I want. The longer and more unique you make the security phrase, the more secure your passwords will be. There is no need to remember the security phrase. 
you will never be asked for it again. This screen is a good place to practice typing in uppercase and special characters. Use the blue function key to enter in numbers or special characters. Press the Enter key when done. The screen now says, Device Initialized, and asks you to press Enter to continue. Your Passwords Fast is now initialized, and you are ready to begin adding entries. We've just set up our Passwords Fast, so there are no entries. Let's add one by first locating the Add key in the lower right corner. Add is in blue, so we need to press the function key first. Remember not to press both the function and add key at the same time. This brings us to the first of three prompts. Add description. This is where we describe the password entry. For example, it could be the name of a website you need to log into or some other account. Once you're done entering the description, press the Enter key. This brings us to the second prompt, Add Username. This is where you can add the login that you use in conjunction with the password to get into your accounts. In most cases, this is usually your email address. Once you're done entering the username, press the Enter key. Now we're on the last prompt, Add Password. This is where you enter your password for the entry. Once you're done entering the password, press the Enter key. This brings us to the Confirm New Entry screen, where you can scroll through the data you just entered for description, username, and password by using the up and down arrow keys. Press the Enter key to confirm the password entry is good. Your password entry is now added. To add additional entries, just press the function key, then press Add, and follow the same process. To turn the device off, press and hold the on-off key until the screen goes blank, which takes about two seconds. Thank you for watching this video on how to set up your passwords fast and adding password entries. The next video in the series covers how to view and search for your password entries.